Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with another Just Devotional. Today we're going to be in Luke 6.46, talking about following rules and what that means. So Luke 6.46 says, And why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? So, Jesus talking about the fact that we call him Lord, Lord, and we don't do the things that he says. Following rules. Have you guys noticed that in our society today, everyone makes up their own rules and they follow those rules and do whatever it is that that day they feel is right. People start making up their own rules. The other day I was sitting at a light at 120th and 85 when all of a sudden the guy behind me, we're about 50 yards from the red light, decides that he can't wait any longer. He drives the wrong side of the road all the way to the light and turns at that light. Now, I don't think that there is any rule that allows him to drive 50 yards down the wrong side of the road. He wasn't passing anyone because they were slowing him down. He was just impatient and couldn't wait. Well, he felt it was okay because no cars were coming. But I'm not sure that that's exactly the choice that he gets to make. You know, have you ever seen this person who goes into the fast food restaurant and that fast food restaurant has got free refills. So they've come up with their own rule on this. I knew guys that used to go to the place, buy a drink, take it back to the office, and a few hours later go back and refill it. Why? They purchased their dollar drink. Listen, I'm not certain that that's exactly the rule. I'm pretty sure it's only while you are there, not as you come back. What's to stop you from doing it the next day? I mean, you've already paid your dollar. Why not be allowed to get another drink? You've paid for it. I don't think that's how it happens. Listen, a lot of things happen because we feel they're okay. So Luke 646, Jesus is asking the question, why are you calling me Lord and not doing the things that I've asked you to do? Let's do another illustration here. Some of you guys are getting your license or about to get your license. You've been studying and there's a lot of rules. So let's put this scenario together. You're driving down the road after having gotten your license and you see the light turn red. You slow down and come to a stop. But the guy behind you rams right into the back end of you and starts screaming and yelling about how you impeded him from continuing to move. He can't believe you did it. It's a constitutional right to be able to move and do things. You have impeded his right and freedom of movement. You are going to be sued. You get out of your car. You can't believe it. You were just sitting there at the red light. But he has none of it. Why? Because you're impeding his freedoms. Now, do you think that's the way the rules work? No. You stop at a red light. But how many times have you seen people run red lights? Or how many times have you seen people, or maybe done it yourself, accelerate on the yellow light? Or do things that are not following the rules? See, we do these kinds of things all the time with God's Word. We constantly complain and do things the way we want them to be. He might tell us to do one thing. We might be asked to do something, but we find another way to do it. Something that makes us more comfortable. Something that fits into our lifestyle. Something that fits with what we want to do. So guys, today, Jesus is asking the question, why call me Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. He's commanded you to do a lot of things. How many of those things are you not doing today? Think about this verse and think about the fact that it's Jesus himself asking this question. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you again soon.